depend on who wins. Because if the United States wins, they'll probably blame China or whoever deals the retaliation blow that actually gets it officially underway by their standards. But if the United States doesn't win, it'll probably be marked as the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan um, and Libya, which marked the beginning of World War III. Now, I can't really predict how that's going to unfold, but it seems pretty evident to me that it is underway. I think one reason people dismiss this whole idea of World War III having started already is due to the fact that it hasn't been officially announced. Um, you know, people have kind of a storybook idea of history, but you have to remember that World War II wasn't announced as World War II when it started. In fact, when it started, most people didn't even think that their country was going to be involved. I mean, this was all sparked by Hitler moving into uh, Poland. He faked an attack on one of his borders, blamed the Polish people, and then he invaded Poland. You know, if you had talked about the beginning of World War II right after Hitler had just invaded Poland, most people would have looked at you like you were crazy because they couldn't fathom what was coming. There was no way they could tell, but all the evidence was there. Um, people just weren't looking at it. Likewise, all the evidence for World War III is there. Um, and I can understand why people don't want to see it, especially Americans, because we're the aggressors. We're the ones who are starting it. Um, you know, for Europeans who might feel that they're separate from this, I mean, it should be pretty clear that you're not. At this point, um, NATO is, uh, is fully in implicated. So if your country is, is a part of NATO, you're going to be involved in this conflict, most likely. Um, even if you don't want to, because you've already engaged yourself in the invasion of Libya. Now, just because World War III has started doesn't necessarily mean that we couldn't stop it if the citizens were willing to take responsibility. I've seen, um, it doesn't seem that Americans have woken up quite enough in order to do that. And, you know, that's the reason I spend so much time focusing on the United States rather than covering the rest of the world, because a lot of people bring that up. You know, why don't you cover every other country in the world? The answer is really simple, because we are the root of the problem. You know, if you were to address what's going on in the United States, then you could solve a lot of the problems that are going on globally, because we are the empire. You know, we are the center of power. And if we could stop it here, um, it could be a long time before it rebuilds. Now, to those people who don't like the fact that I continue to talk about World War III, who think that the act of talking about it actually makes it more likely. Um, I would address that by saying the awareness of what's going on is the only way to stop it. If people don't realize what's happening, they're going to accept the incremental steps that lead to World War III. Like these invasions of Libya, Yemen, and who knows which country is going to be next, maybe Syria. Um, that's how these things start. They don't start with a big, full-out invasion of every country in the world starts by an incremental invasion of one country after another until there's a retaliation by a power that's large enough to put up an actual resistance.